Well, they are blooming <laughs> and they are smelling. Yes. The Bradford pear trees. Yeah, I think a lot of folks associate that with springtime in the Carolinas, yeah. but it's not the greatest tree in the world, Vanessa. It's actually an invasive species and that smell, it's horrible for a reason. You know, most trees will pollinate because of birds or bees. Yeah. You know why the Bradford pear smell so bad? Well, I was actually wondering this very <laughs> question just yeah. because I, I mean, Usually everything smells really nice because yeah. you want to attract something nice, right? Yeah. So, well, bees are, you know, they're great pollinators. You know what there's more of? Flies. Oh. So if you smell really bad, you can attract oh a bunch goodness. of flies and they do the pollination for them. What's really interesting about the Bradford pear, the reason it was introduced here was it was supposed to be sterile. It wasn't supposed to reproduce. Well, what happened is they started cross-pollinating with the native pear trees and now you have these hybrid trees. Oh, wow. And the hybrids are kind of like Franken trees. They grow these huge spikes and they become really damaging to like tractor tires and car tires and they're just really tough to get rid of. And so there's a bounty mm -hmm. in both North and South Carolina for them. Yeah, we've been seeing um, both states offer this bounty. Essentially, yeah. they want some sort of proof. So like a before <laughs> and after photo. If you have these Bradford pear trees on your yeah. property, take a picture of the before, yep. maybe you standing with the tree and then a picture <laughs> of the after you you removing the tree yeah. and you could get a native tree to put in its place. Yeah, for so free. when we say bounty, it sounds like you're getting money for the tree. You're actually getting free trees to replace. Yeah, I mean, that's those and are expensive. Yeah, if they you want are. a free tree. Yeah. And you know, a lot of folks will say these are hard to take down. They are. It's expensive to cut a tree down, but these are really fragile trees. They tend to split. They grow like this. And around here in the weather department, we always joke the slightest wind, the Bradford pears are the first one to come down. So for another reason you probably want to remove them on your property is they're eventually going to break mm -hmm. and they could be on your house or your car. So better you do it than let Mother Nature drop it on your house. And decide for you yes. where it drops and yes. on whom it drops. So it is that time of year. We hate these trees and some of us do. They look great, but they smell horrible and they're an invasive species. So we're trying to eradicate them for the Carolinas. Yeah, and I can see that we still have some work to do because yeah. I, I shot some video earlier over by the airport yeah. and they are just lining the streets. They are prolific and we had a trip up to the mountains recently yeah. and that was pretty much the only thing we saw blooming on yeah. the way up to the mountains. I mean, if you don't smell them, they look amazing. The problem is once you smell them, you realize that's a horrible smell and it's horrible for a reason and it also means it's a tree we're trying to get rid of. Okay. Well, hopefully y'all learned a little bit more on this weather IQ <laughs> yeah. and become that bounty hunter you always yeah. dreamed of being. Get them all. <laughs>